Farm Guy here with an update to the hay wagon with seats by Dominic on Farming Simulator 22 and this is for all platforms and uh, this is 5.17 megabytes to download and it has a significant update now the original mod was basically uh, a wagon that you could get in and if you had the Kubota DLC it would it would accommodate <clears throat> multiple persons on a multiplayer you could have all your friends sit on there and you could drive them around on it now the update uh, to this has added auto load products and tension belts and that is a massive massive update change to this completely changes uh, the the mod uh, you can still have it as a base trailer to 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 do that however now you have the option to make it an auto load trailer now it is a bit quirky uh, it works a bit different than some of the other auto load traders trailers traders trailers and it's taken me a little bit of time to kind of figure it out but i think i've got it at least the basics of it so that i can let you know what's going on first of all let's take a look at it in the store it's under tools and miscellaneous not trailers how it is li uh, listed in uh, the mod hub it is under miscellaneous and here it is hay wagon with seats five thousand dollars now notice down at the bottom we have a bunch of products now those are base game productions and also crop type and uh, bulk items that you would carry in a bulk trailer uh, the capacity is a 10,000 to 100,000 liters. Yes, 100,000 liter auto load capacity. And I uh, will show you a couple of things with it. So 4.7 tons and the slots, I can't remember the slots. It's not much, I'm sure uh, we can fix that right now. Uh, uh, yes, slots are seven slots. Yes, so that was uh, let's buy one, just a normal one, without the auto load. Because well, let's just have a look at it again in in the store. Here we go. So we have configuration. We have the tension belt configuration, or we have the two auto load. The auto load for ten thousand liters and auto load for unreal capacity of 100,000 liters now we're gonna get the tension belt one but we'll just quickly go through a couple of the options we have narrow standard tires the standard tires are actually pretty nice uh, narrows are pretty nice yeah then we have standard we're twins and the tracks which I have no charge for the uh, the tire configurations we'll leave it there because we have hub color which we can make it let's make it uh, hub color there we go it's only available on the narrow tires the hub color main color let's make it yellow and that does the body of it as you can see there the deck you can change the deck it right now it's adding white let's make it oh we have oh wait a minute what's this petrol chrome Ooh shiny and then uh, the seats seat color can be anything like any one of these colors let's make it uh, copper too. copper hmm. okay cool and uh, then rim color again any of these colors um, orange candy oh candy um, yeah so that's uh, we're just gonna buy that because uh, when you have the auto load it doesn't have straps also when you unhook it puts out the ladder kind of neat right so as I said this is not the auto load version this is the one with straps whoops so as uh, options we have uh, unfold trailer X so that puts out the ladder L1 and X again puts the ladder back in and the tension belts are like so so if you have say um, a thing of liftable tomatoes and you want to use this to 
all around some tomatoes like that the normal way you can strap them down and it's all good right okay let's get let's get back in there and undo the tension belts now that's the normal one without auto load right okay so let's grab those tomatoes back off of there now moving on to the change log uh, or the updated version which I have there and uh, I have uh, I have configured it to the uh, 10,000 liter just to keep it kind of well <laughs> to, to keep it within kind of a, a reasonable amount uh, we also have the unfold which will put out the ladder we have close or open cover now I think if it's closed right now it's open uh, press that it's closed so it doesn't show anything but I think that we're gonna test that out in a minute however because we're here with some tomatoes I was gonna show you the auto load and that where the auto load activates and it's automatic you don't have to press anything so already we're getting we're getting some so there's the triggers kind of around here more towards the back but it's kind of you kind of pull up to it and, it and it just auto as you can see tomatoes are kind of slow loading anyways but you can see where that's happening and they all they all appear on the farm fresh products box does it say no there's the writing doesn't say so you you know by the field information there's tomatoes in there right and you can only all load one thing at a time <clears throat> if we hop in here we see we got tomatoes it's loading there we go we have nine percent in there so even if we put some flour close by it's not going to load so once you have more than five percent of a product in an auto load trailer it's not going to load anything else so you're safe uh liquids no liquids you cannot so this uh herbicide will not load on there so no liquids however if we look back at it again and look at the list of products we have all the bakery products blah 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 we also have the oil because they come in pallets so anything that comes on a pallet literally anything that comes on a pallet you can auto load now the the, the loose products and if I say loose products the uh, at the end of this list down there at the bottom it's gonna scroll down to crops wheat barley uh, all the crops all the crop types and the loose stuff like silage and hay and straw and all those kind of things we're gonna show you how that works too but anyways um, we have tomatoes on here right now so how do we deal with the tomatoes well you can unload them so you're you've got them and you can also R1 and triangle and it will spit them out way over there spit them out way over here uh, of course for some reason you lose just a tiny tiny amount of them when that happens for some reason although it still says 500 liters but it's missing a chunk right so let's um let's grab this flower here and just show you the flower the flower will load there we go like so we'll load a little bit now I tried my best to get it to load from a buy anything point it won't so far as I can tell you can't load this from a silo or a buy anything silo like this I have the other one there if you have a normal farm silo I I haven't been able to get a trigger to pop up to fill it from a silo so just in case you're trying to use this to fill up from your silo um, I haven't got it to work um, uh, not to say that some that it doesn't but I haven't got it to work so if that makes any sense let's put the rest of this flower there we go and then we're gonna trot over to <clears throat> um, the next portion of our test area here and uh, as you can see it's a little bit kind of squirrely 
because of the swivel front axle and tends to wander a little bit but that's okay it's uh, it seems to be stable now how do you how else can you get rid of it well I have a sell anything point here and uh, you kind of have to be careful driving around these things cuz it automatically sells if you come over here it's gone BAM it says unknown I don't know why that comes up with that unknown is not supported mm. but it sold it as you can see products in there BAM it sold right okay so that's the pallets and stuff like that I would imagine it would work for uh, putting stuff into a production facility or something I didn't try that but we do have a harvester full of wheat here oh let's go in here and close the cover so the cover is closed as far as I can tell and we're gonna see if we can fill it with this with the cover closed no okay so that's what's going on here it's it's an invisible trailer with a closed cover so if we go back in here and open cover there we go now we have uh, it's uh, it's now filling up like as if it was a trailer with a cover on it now the covers off and the trailer can be loaded and we have we will have 10,000 liters of wheat on the trailer and as it starts to fill there we go we should get it all in there 10,000 liters there it is so that's what it looks like full now of course if you pick the 100,000 liters it will hold 100,000 liters um, so emptying into so we showed how it empties into a cell point you can also empty into a silo this is base game silo and as we come over here it just automatically empties and it empties pretty quick so that's nice however as I said if we come over here and we want to fill it from a silo at least this silo I don't get it I don't have a L3 to fill I don't get a, a fill here trigger I don't get a fill trigger at all unfold and unload yeah nothing um, and the as you see I just filled it with the cover was open um, so there's that right and that's oh uh, you can fill it from a truck uh, we have hold on let's let's do this kind of the sort of easy way I got a little trailer here so we're gonna hook up this little trailer fill it with uh, some something yeah I tried it underneath this by point too and it doesn't it doesn't work you can't fill it from a silo or a by point uh, let's try something different like um, uh, where is it? Uh, sugarcane. Why not? Sugarcane. Just to try something different and show you. It's pretty easy to fill the trailer. At least it seemed to. There, right there. See? We got the trigger and we empty it. And it fills it. As you can see, it's filling the trailer and fills it to 10,000 liters because that's what we have it set at. There we go, and there it is, 10,000 liters of sugar cane. Again, we can, let's see, will it give me the unload? Unload. Oh, look at that. It unloads it into crates. Crates of sugar cane. And uh, you can also reload it back onto the trailer, like so. Very, oh, it's, there we go, if it's too close. If it's too close, it'll refill it. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, and then again, uh, I don't think this this does not accept sugarcane. No, sugarcane's not accepted there. However, I do believe, yes. Even though I get the trigger saying unknown is not accepted here, that's weird, but it still works. And that's that's the interesting and neat update to that hay wagon. 
Uh, quite interesting. That's a hay wagon with seats by Dominic. 5.17 megabytes to download, seven slots, and another auto load option for those of you who like this style. And it's a little different than the other ones. Very cool. And um, so that's it. I'm Looney Farm Guy. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.